Hello out there and welcome to another video by the team here at BlenderTech.com. That's Blender T E K dot com. Unity videos will soon have their own website. We currently use version 4.5.5 F1. Please like the video if it helps and subscribe for more videos on Unity 3D, Blender, and coding. Our team tries to add between 3 to 10 videos a day. And don't forget, create your way. In this final part of the three part series we will be finishing all you need to know about basic unity physics. We've already covered colliders and rigid bodies in part one as well as layers in part two. However today we'll be having as much fun as possible with the very basic stuff that we are working with in physics. We will be creating and exploring what's called physics materials in unity. As the name suggests, these are presets that you can essentially drag and drop onto any object at any time to make them behave like bouncy balls, ice, glue, concrete, etc. Anything you want, you're only limited by your creativity. So let's get creating then. To start off, we'll create a new project file from File, New Project. Choose a path that's nice and organized. As I've emphasized before, organization is extremely important because eventually your folders will become filled with thousands of files and hundreds of subfolders in dozens of projects. I've already created my project and got it set up, so I'm just going to cancel, but you would hit create. So, first of all, let's set up our scene to be exactly as I have it here. It's going to be exactly as last time, except this time we'll be using a cube again instead of a sphere to show how physics materials work. But we'll also have a sphere to play with. So I'm not going to go into super detail about creating this scene. Watch the previous videos if you don't understand or forget these basics, but I'll quickly outline everything. So. The first thing you want to create is floor one, which is this plane here. So you'd go game component, create other, plane, and then with it selected in the hierarchy window, under the inspector window, give it a position of negative one, three, zero, with a rotation of zero, zero, three, twenty eight. Then create another plane and call it floor two. The names are up here in the inspector window and with it selected again give it a position of 5 negative 3 0 with a rotation of 0 0 32 then create a cube so that's game object create other cube and with it selected in the hierarchy window under the inspector window we don't need to rename it but give it a position of 0 3.5 3 and a rotation of 0, 0, 328. This way it's at the exact same rotation as our plane. Then create a sphere, game object, create other sphere. You don't need to rename it either unless you want to, but give it a position of 0, 3, 0. Um, the only last thing we need to do to set up the scene is to add a rigid body to both the cube and sphere. If you forget how to do this, all you do is go to Component, Physics, and click Rigid Body. With the sphere selected and then with the cube selected, do the exact same thing. That way we'll have rigid body components added so that they can interact with other objects. So let's hit play and see what happens. As you can see, our sphere rolls down off the first floor and then rolls off the second floor and the cube kind of kind of rolls off the first floor and then gets stuck on the second floor that's because of the stock friction values and we're gonna be playing with all this today so unclick the play button to get back to our scene view and let's get started with playing around with the physics so what we are mainly going to focus on is in the inspector window if we select the cube for example Notice it has the box collider component, and under the box collider component, it has a material. In this instance, its material is none, so it just has a default material of nothing. So, it has no physical as aspects to it, basically. Um, we're going to be changing that. What this material option does is tells Unity what kind of physical material properties this object should have. So let's create our own physical materials to use. We are going to use the bottom part of the screen for the first time. 
make sure that project is selected in the bottom part of the window here it should be the only tab open at this point and also make sure that you're in the assets folder again it should be the only folder you have right click in this gray area here and click go to create and then click folder name this folder my materials now let's navigate into that folder by double clicking now that we're in this folder let's right click in the gray area again and select create physic material let's call this one icy do that again create physic material and call this one bouncy so as you can see these are the stock values here that you can, and they can be played with but as you can see right now they're exactly the same we're gonna be changing those as well we're gonna be doing that right now so let's start with icy for example select icy down here as we have and you'll see in the inspector window we now have the options for the icy physics material you can tell it's a physics material because of this icon so for dynamic friction we want a value of 0.375 a static friction of 0.375 bounciness of 0 under friction combine choose average and for the less the rest of them we can just leave them as stock it should look exactly like this if it doesn't make sure that bounce combine is average friction direction 2 is 0 0 0 and the last two options are 0 and 0 respectively now let's click out of that and choose bouncy and let's edit this the values for this are dynamic and static friction both to one or sorry this isn't bouncy this is gluey so let's right click and delete it and wait for it to delete da, 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 da. let's create physics material and let's call it gluey sorry that's the first tool we'll be working with so we have IC created already now for gluey under dynamic friction and static friction set them both to one make sure bounciness is at zero however friction combine change that to maximum and bounce combine to multiply the rest again can be left to stock all zeros we now have two custom physics materials gluey and icy that we can assign to any object in the hierarchy window select your cube again since we're going to be doing drag and drop use the search bar in the project window down here and search for your material called icy as you will see icy came up I'm only showing you this because if this was an extremely complex game you wouldn't know exactly where it is so you'd have to search for it we do know where it is since it's the only one of two things we have so I'm just showing you how to search so what we're going to do now is take the icon and drag and drop it on top of the material slot under box collider if you wanted you could also click on this little circle and it brings up a selection box where you can also search for physical materials say you had a hundred physical materials you could search for them in here but I'm gonna close out of that let's hit play and see what happens now as you can see nothing changed that's because floor one and floor two have no physical properties to them so let's add icy to both of them so again select floor one in the hierarchy window take your icy material and drag it to material under the mesh collider on each plane now let's hit play and see what happens now that all three objects are cube has icy our plane our floor one has icy and floor two has icy so hit play and see what happens not a lot is changing but technically there is 
technically everything is has a lot less friction now but you're not going to see the difference quite yet but that shows you how to assign and change and create physics materials so deselect play to get back to our scene view now let's try out gluey in the search window type in gluey and as you can see we have gluey available and like he, we already changed the friction of dynamic and static to one and if you don't know what any of these mean just hit the little uh, question mark book this is available anywhere and unity has great documentation for example it shows you here what everything does in some examples but back in unity let's play with gluey so let's assign it to the cube and the planes again so we'll assign it to the material slot and in floor one I'm just gonna use the little circle button and I'm gonna choose I'm gonna double click on gluey and floor two I'm gonna choose gluey now hit play and see what happens as you can see our cube gets stuck kind of but it is moving very slowly that's because everything has a lot of friction but as you can see it's now stuck that's because both the plane and the cube are acting as glue we have them set up to have physical properties like glue so what else can we do let's uncheck play to get back to our scene view so while the plane had a lot of friction and the cube so they got stuck to each other if we hit play one more time you notice that the ball exacts or acts exactly as it did from the start that's because if we select sphere it has no physics material added to it so let's add gluey to it and see what happens and press play as you can see nothing has changed why is that you ask well let me tell you deselect play and I'll tell you why first of all make sure you have sphere selected in the hierarchy window so that we can find out that way we'll be able to see the what happens to it here and press play while paying attention to the rotation values over here as you can see under the Z it's rotating so that means it's rotating along its Z axis heavily whereas it's barely rotating under the other axes so what we're gonna do is we're gonna constrain the axis this is similar to constraining an axis in blender so in the inspector window making sure sphere is still selected under rigid body you'll see constraints down here and we can expand it so expand it so let's freeze the rotation in the Z direction so let's see what happens now that our sphere has gluey attached to it and the Z rotation is frozen so hit play to find out as you can see now our sphere sticks but since it's a sphere it can kind of roll down but since it's got a glue material it can very very slowly roll down the floors I'll just let it quickly drop to the second floor so you'll see what happens and plop and it gets stuck and it'll take a while but you can see it is still moving so by constraining the Z rotation we've now allowed it to not rotate as much or at all basically so let's get back to our scene menu again we're gonna have fun now I told you from part one we would be creating a bouncy ball and you can create as many as you like afterwards and have fun with them hitting each other and create as many planes as you'd like in whatever angles and places you'd like so let's create a new physics material called bouncy let's do this a different way this time so make sure we're in my materials folder we have gluey and icy in there so far and we're gonna do it a different way how we're gonna do this is we're gonna click assets at the top toolbar and then select create physic material and like I said call this one bouncy so now assign bouncy to the sphere I'm not gonna explain how to do this because it's pretty straightforward you can see we just drag and drop 
Let's press play to see what happens now that we have assigned Bouncy to the, the sphere. As you can see, no change again. That's because we didn't edit the settings of the Bouncy material. So let's do that now. Uncheck play and select Bouncy so we can edit it. Here's the values we're going to use. Dynamic and static friction can both be set to zero. Bounciness to one, which means it's full bouncy. That means it'll bounce without losing any energy if you look in the Unity documentation. And by giving it no friction, that means it'll just basically bounce right off. And under friction combine, we're going to choose minimum. And under bounce combine, we're going to choose maximum. Again, if you want to learn more about these things, just press the little book. You can see, for example, in here, there's books everywhere, and it tells you what every single value box does. So, let's assign Bouncy to this sphere to see what happens. Because we want to create a Bouncy Ball, right? So I'm going to assign Bouncy to the sphere. So now, let's see what happens with our edited settings as you can see nothing again that's because although our sphere is bouncy our planes are still extremely well they're, they're still using the gluey physic material so it's not gonna bounce even if we let it drop off onto the next plane let's see as you can see it bounced off there but it didn't bounce at the beginning that's because it was gluey up here. So what we need to do is under floor one we need to assign something like icy to it or create your own and floor two assign icy to it. Now let's see what happens. It went really fast and now it bounces all around and our cube is still stuck and it bounced off into the abyss. Now let's have some more fun. Let's just assign Bouncy to everything. So Floor 2, Bouncy. Floor 1, Bouncy. Sphere, already Bouncy. Cube, Bouncy. So now let's hit play and see what happens. As you can see, everything's going to bounce around according to its mass and whatever and our bouncy balls already gone into the abyss and our cube as well so you can play with these settings to get whatever kind of values you want you can change the planes um, sizes and you could create it so it bounces back and forth eternally you could create some floors and walls and a roof and you could put a ton of spears all over and let them bounce around you could create a basic game level out of some bigger planes and then let them bounce all around you can do whatever you want you could create a ski hill so this just gives you some ideas to allow your creativity to come out in physical materials you now have a grasp of basic physics and physics materials in unity Thanks for watching this video from the team here at BlenderTech.com. Again, that's Blender, T -E -K com. If you enjoyed this video and it helped, please like it and don't forget to subscribe for more Unity 3D, Blender, and coding tutorial videos. We try to add between 3 to 10 a day. If for some reason you dislike this video, don't just leave a com. Don't just leave. Please add a comment that tells us what we can improve on so that each video gets better and better. For private concerns, we can be emailed at info at blendertech.com. We also take input as to what we should add more of, and we also take tutorial requests and we'll create a tutorial just for you. See you next time, and remember, create your way.